Hello everyone. Wow, class 42. Nearly a year, 10 weeks to go. How are you all doing today? I hope you're well. Welcome to Pilates with me, April Moon. Um, today we've just got a full body Pilates sort of exercise workout. Nothing too strenuous, suitable for all levels of fitness. Just make sure you've got some water nearby and then, you know, only stick to your own limits. Don't push yourselves too much. I'm going to give it a few more seconds just to make sure everyone is um, is here and gets themselves settled. You just need a mat or a little bit of carpet even and you do need a pillow too. That will help. If you're here and want to say hi, feel free. I'm going to try, for some reason when I go to the chat I sometimes leave. No, it didn't work good last couple of weeks i've said goodbye i'm going to look at the comments and then press leave for some reason uh, it must have caught the button but anyway right then let's get started so let's start laying down today i never really start laying but let's mix it up so hug the knees in towards the chest and we're just going to spend about a minute like this now when we're here we're pushing the lower back into the mat and we're rocking side to side so what happens is we are massaging the lumbar spine. So the lumbar spine, if you don't know, is the, um, the bottom part of your spine and it's fixed. So it can't, it's not flexible, it doesn't move. So it's, that's why a lot of people get so much sort of tension and pain in the lower back. So let's keep it nice and relaxed and massaged. So just Hug the knees in. If you've got your ankles crossed over, just cross over to the other side. You can circle the knees around if you want. And then the other way. Relax the toes, push the shoulders down. And now place the hands over the knees, push the knees away, mark side to side. Wonderful. And now cross the left ankle over the right. Hug the knees in. Inhale, nod the chin. And exhale, squeeze up. And gently lower. Other side. Right ankle over left. Inhale, nod. Squeeze up. Walk side to side. And lower feet flat on the floor and then we're going to put the heels out and the toes forward and then just lift one here up and down at a time and then just relax the lower back and then just push the shoulders down and away relax the toes and then from here we're going to inhale and exhale just push both knees over to the left Stretch it out. Hold it there, breathe in. Sorry, I thought I had a, a notification come up. And then come up, inhale, and exhale over to the right. and then come back in. Now, I want you to walk the feet as wide as your mat, or wider, and do this again. Inhale, exhale, knees go out to the left. And feel the difference in the side of the hips. And then come up, inhale, exhale over to the right. And then come up. Good. And now stretch the arms out. So place the elbows down, hands up, and then bring the arms back. Inhale, exhale, knees out. Good. 
inhale up exhale knee down i could do this one all day i love it if you've got very tight hips so if you can't sit cross-legged or you just feel like your hips are tight this is a, a the best one so you can even do it just before you go to bed or when, when you wake up in bed and then hug those knees in one more time rock side to side wonderful now have the feet um hip width apart so knees um together heels out toes forwards and then pelvis in neutral so remember if we tuck the pelvis under we're gonna push the lower back down and fingers underneath the hips between the back of the mat we're going to feel that nice gap aren't we so we're going to breathe in lift up and then breathe out tap the foot down and lift it up so don't let the lower back come in so the knees are here exhale tap and lift up tap down lift tap and lift tap and up tap and up tap and up four and up three you should feel it in the thigh now and up two and up one and up very good take that ankle across inhale exhale push the right knee the left knee out to the side and then come up left foot down well done let's come over so right leg right knee in line with that right hip inhale exhale tap it down and up down and up down and up keep the pelvis still down and up strengthening that hip keep the left knee still and up four and up three and up two and up one and up ankle over right knee out to the side and then come up well done soles of the feet together knees out stretch out and then bring the knees in wonderful okie dokie now what we're going to do is keep the pelvis really really still lift the arms up we're going to have the arms out wide and then you're going to squeeze nice and slow come back up so we breathe in breathe out arms go out and then come up breathe it in breathe out arms out and come up and out nice and slow let the hands work at the same time keep the lower body really still and up hands come down and up and hands come out now hold it there and turn the palms down to face the floor and then lift back up so you're rotating from your shoulders and lift wonderful now very common i see a lot of tension in the neck and the head when we do this sort of exercise so relax them down and then come out turn turn and squeeze then come down turn turn and lift And again, come down, turn, turn, and up, and come down, turn, turn, and up. One more time, come down, turn, turn, 
turn, turn, and come up. Well done. Now hug the knees in and relax. Rock side to side. And then stretch your arms out nice and long. Relax, relax the shoulders. Okay, so now what we're going to do is relax the toes and you're going to lift the arms back up. No, first of all, before we do that, you're going to take the left knee out to the side whilst not disturbing your core or your lower part of your body. So yes, the knee is going to be moving you're going to feel this in your core and then we go over to the other side so keep that left knee still squeeze it up breathe it in breathe out left knee and lift up and right knee And up. And out. And up. Good. Right side. And up. Now arms come up and we're going to inhale. Exhale. Inhale, make sure the wrist is in line with that shoulder. Inhale, exhale, left knee out, arm comes down. Now squeeze the knee and the hand up at the same time. Over to the other side, so right knee out, right hand out. And lift up. Breathe in, breathe out other side, keep it going. Keep it nice and still. Remember, you don't want to be doing this, otherwise you're just disturbing the pelvis so the knee does not come all the way down to the floor. And lift, right knee, right hand. And then come up. Let's do four. And up. Three. And up, and then two, and up, and one, and up. Very good. Hug those knees in and rock side to side. And then just circle the knees around. Then the other way. So feet are on the floor now. Then what you're going to do is lift up that left knee. So the left knee is in line with that left hip. And you're going to extend the left leg and bring it back in. So you'll feel it in the lower belly and in the hips. Extend and in, extend, and in, extend, and in, extend, and in, so three, and in, two, and in, one, and in, well done. Drop the foot down, knee goes out to the side. <sighs> Lots of hip work today, come back up. Now readjust your pelvis, feet together, heels out, toes forward. Readjust, make sure that your pelvis is secure. The right leg, lift, inhale, exhale. Come up, and then out. And in and out. So remember, my leg is not going all the way down to the floor. It's just extending out so my pelvis doesn't change. We'll do three 
and in, two and in, one and in, foot down, right knee out. And come up and then lift and up, walk the knees back, sink the heels down, stretch the hands forward, relax. So take your time in getting here, we're here for about a minute so it's no rush. If you want to find this a bit more comfortable, bring your pillow round and stretch it forward. Now keep sinking those hips back and stretch the hands forward. And then gently come up onto the knees and walk the knees as wide as the mat, big toes together, um, sink the hips back and stretch it forward. And then gently lift up. Isn't that just so relaxing? I can stay like it all day. All day. Right. And bring the knees in. Take the pillow out to the side. Let's come onto all fours. Let's come into a very relaxing cat cow. So wrist in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. Relax the tootsies on the floor and then stick the glutes out so your um, pelvis is in neutral. And then breathe in. Breathe out. Nod the chin and round through. Let the head drop. Imagine that spine going up towards the ceiling and then look straight forward. Breathing in, breathe out, nod. And then look straight forward. Inhale, exhale, nod. And then look forward, one more time, breathing in, breathe out, nod. And then look straight forward. And now what we're going to do is walk those knees back and gently, gently bring your upper body down. Now when you're here, I find this so relaxing, just stretch the arms long. Imagine someone pulling the feet, pulling your toes, stretch out that upper body and the legs. Wonderful. And then bring the hands one top of the other. And then make sure the feet are together. And then the toes go out and the heels go out. Lift the knees up and then relax. Push your shoulders down away from your ears. And then the elbows come down. And breathe in. Breathe out. Lift the right foot up. And gently lower. Left leg lift. And lower. Breathe in. Breathe out, squeeze. And lower. Squeeze. And lower. Right leg up. And lower, left leg, and lower, right leg, hold it, and lower, last time, left leg, lift, and lower, curl the toes under, lift the knees off the floor, and stretch out. 
and relax the toes down. Wonderful. Okay, now take the feet out nice and wide. Now this is amazing for your glutes, okay? So what you're going to do is lift the feet up so the knees are hovering just off the floor. Squeeze the heels in and come back out. Squeeze and out. Squeeze and out. Squeeze in and out. In and out. Squeeze and out. Five and out. Four and out. Three and out. Two and out. One and out. And relax and then just walk side to side. Wonderful. And then once again, curl the toes under, lift up. Fabulous. Now what we're going to do is just realign your posture. So bring the feet in and then toes out, heels out. Wonderful. Now bend the right foot and then you're going to push the heel up in towards the ceiling like this. Now your thigh is not coming off the mat at all. It might do slightly, but you're not like, that is not the goal here. The goal here is to keep the, the knee in line with the hip and in line with the ankle and to feel the push squeeze in the lower back and legs. It's very small movement. Relax the head down into the hand so there's no tension in the neck area, top of the spine. Very good. We're going to do four, nice and slow, three, two, and one. Wonderful, and now push up. Let's come into a downward dog to stretch out all what we've just done. So curl the toes under, stretch the hands forwards, Breathing in and breathe out. Push up, push the heels down, let the head drop. And then bring the knees down. Now walk the knees back, walk the hands forwards. And then inhale, exhale, bend the elbows and pull the hips back. Really stretch and then trail the hands and lift. So your back, the whole of your back now, into the glutes to have a lovely workout. We've got five minutes left. Let's come and lay down. So how I usually, or how fitness usually works, is we first we strengthen the muscle and then we lengthen the muscle. So come and lay down and hug the knees in towards the chest and then just rock side to side. So from here, what we're going to do is place the right foot onto the floor and hug the left knee in. But keep that lower back down, push the shoulders away from the ears, hold it here, and then grab my jumper. I've got very cold all of a sudden. So just hug it in, keep the lower back down so you stretch out. Now take that um, leg, okay, now place the hands behind the lower back behind the lower back, behind the left thigh. Now push your lower back into the mat a little bit more, okay? Now pushing towards that heel and inhale, 
Exhale, pull that leg up towards the ceiling, but keep the lower back down. Just breathe in and out. Just keep pushing into that leg. And then bend the knee, place it onto the floor. Hug the right knee in. Breathing in, breathe out. Hands behind that right thigh, inhale, exhale, push up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing, try and get that foot flat. Enjoy the stretch, just push a little bit more if you can. Keep the lower back down and then gently lower well done and now walk the feet out nice and wide once again inhale exhale both knees out to the side lift the hands up and then lift inhale exhale over to the right Just breathe in, breathe out, bring the knees up and now we're going to have a nice little just relax for two minutes when we ever really get time to stretch and relax, eh? So just close the eyes, just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lay however you want, just get nice and comfortable. And then take a deep breath in, breathe out, breathing in and out. And then bring the knees in, hug the knees in one more time. And then walk over to the right and then lift yourself up and keep the spine nice and long. Push your shoulders down away from your ears. And then breathe in, breathe out, tilt the right ear to the right shoulder. And lift, inhale, exhale over to the right. And then up, stretch your arms out, keep the spine tall, inhale up, and then exhale lower. Now, watch me do it. So, a very common thing that I see at the end of all my classes is this. You need to keep your shoulders down. So stretch your arms out, keep your shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Now only lift your arms as high as your shoulders will allow. This takes a long time to train your body, but you will get there. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower. And well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed that 30 minute full body. We did work 
but then with the hips more, we did have a good old stretch out. Now I'm gonna try and press the chat button, but the last two weeks I've done this, I've left, and I don't know why this has happened. So if I do go, I'm so sorry, but let me just try. Yeah, it worked. Thanks, Debs. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you're watching this on your um on the replay. Oh, um, I will see you all next week in November. Woo! Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.